Hi everyone, Julie here. Nice to see you. Um, it's kind of in the middle of the night, early morning, whatever you want to say. I crashed and then woke up and couldn't go back to sleep. Um, had a long day at work. Actually, the only day I get off at a decent hour um, and fell asleep and then now I'm wide awake. And I wanted to share um, my daily devotion to you. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm just an amateur, but I love to share. So um, I live in my home with my mom, my sister, or my daughter, and my um, granddaughter, and um, so you, and, and the two crazy chihuahuas, so you might hear noise in the background if one of them gets up. Um, one of the um, things I love to share is inspiration. Um, my trust and faith in God gets me through things, and I was trying to go, what am I going to share this time? What am I going to share this time? And the daily devotion that I just opened up to is like, I'm like, oh, that's amazing. Um, that's something that I should share with people because we all need a little inspiration. So this verse is Jeremiah 6, verse 16. This is what the Lord says. Stop at the crossroads and look around. Ask for the old godly way and walk in it. Travel its path, and you will find rest for your souls. But you reply, no, that's not the road we want. Sometimes our journey of life stops us in our tracks and requires us to make a decision about which way to go. Some of us continue on the path we were headed. Others run quickly in the other direction. While still, others take to, so long to decide that it seems they are forever standing at the same crossroads. God gave the people of Israel some clear directions on how to steer away from the inevitable path of destruction. First, we need to stop and evaluate our past and future situation. Second, we ask for the godly way and then we walk in it. We can find the way through what has been written in scripture. The Bible tells us a lot about who God is and how he wants his children to conduct their lives. Don't be stubborn like the Israelites and reply, no, that's not what I want. Obedience will ultimately bring you peace. And a little, just a little short prayer to go with this devotion. Lord, give me wisdom to choose the godly path that you have set before me. Help me to take time to stop and listen to your guidance. Allow me to rely on your strength to say yes to the right way. Amen. Now this, I read two different devotion books every day. Um, so this one I got at um, Hobby Lobby. I loved the cover of it. It says, Be Still and Know. Um, you know, that's a great, great um, verse from Psalms 4610. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Um, but I liked the cover of it. And it was really pretty. The other devotion I got, I got it. Um, Ollie's. I love it. They have some really decent price books. Um, something else I wanted to share for you. If you have not seen The Chosen, do so. I'm so excited because Thursday, season four comes out in the movie theaters. Now, I'm not going to be able to go till Monday. But I cannot wait to go see what season four holds. The Chosen is an amazing, amazing movie. It is a, it's not a word for word what happens in the Bible, but it's a close comparison. It makes the characters seem so real to you. And it shows you how Jesus touched lives. Folks, it is amazing. It is an amazing, amazing, amazing work of of I mean it's just amazing it will touch your life um it shows you I have to tell you we all mess up in life don't think you're any different than anybody else we all fall short of the glory of God I make mistakes daily I'd love to say I'm a little perfect little Miss Christian but I'm not because we live in the world and the world around us can be ugly and nasty and we fall into those ways you know we're around the negativity all the time and then it just kind of rubs off on us and we'll lose sight of what we're doing and say some things we shouldn't say or do some things we shouldn't do but remember this 
God didn't hang around with the perfect people. As a matter of fact, the religious people killed him. He hung around with the people who needed him, who needed a savior. You know, God takes just normal people and uses them. Look, David was just a little shepherd boy. Just a little shepherd boy. He took on Goliath with a stone and a slingshot. And then he became a mighty king. Just a normal person. Everybody he uses, if you read the stories in the Bible, he just uses normal people. Abraham, Isaac, Moses, you know, all of them. They're just normal people. Look at Paul. He was a tax collector. He killed Christians. But God used him to make a difference and to bring to light Jesus, our Lord and Savior. So what I'm trying to tell you here is maybe you messed up and you messed up bad. That's life, okay? Let yourself go, okay? Just let it go. Talk to God about it. Listen, you may think that my prayer life is like that prayer I read in that book. No, my prayer life is like, God, I, I tell God everything because let me tell you, ain't nothing I do he doesn't know. I talk to him like I'm talking to a person because that's him. And hey, if I can't do anything that he doesn't know, so why not tell him, well, God, I did, I, you know, I just really think in this guy and it's really stupid or whatever. But I, I, that's the way I talk to him a lot. It's not just a, a regular prayer. So I want you to know there's no, a lot of people think, well, I don't know how to pray. Listen, all you got to do is talk to him. That's all you got to do. He hears you. But listen for him because he wants you to hear him. He wants to have a relationship with you. He wants you to succeed. He wants you to be profitable. But let me tell you, just because you become a born, saved again Christian does not mean that it's going to make life easy. Okay? Because that's when Satan's going to try to get at you. He's going to try everything to knock you down. But let me tell you something. You can sit here and worry about every little thing in the world or you can trust in God to get you through it. And when I trust in God to get me through it, it makes my life so much better because I don't have the stress. See, that's what the devil wants you to do. He wants you to stress and worry about everything. Just trust God. It may not be easy, but you're going to get through it. Wouldn't life be boring if we didn't have any challenges at all? So another thing that everybody needs to work on is forgiveness. If you are holding bitterness in your heart because somebody did you wrong, and every time you see them, that just makes you hurt more and makes you angry. Let it go. Because it's not affecting them any if you're, if you're unforgiving to them. They probably could care less. You're hurting yourself. Release them. Say, hey, I forgive you. You do you, but I'm going to do me. Because if you don't forgive them, you're giving them power over you. I'm not saying forget. I'm not saying to stay with somebody who's bad. I'm not saying any of that, but I'm saying forgive. Say, I forgive you, but I'm sorry you can't be in my life because you bring me down. It's hard. It's really hard sometimes, but sometimes that's what you got to do because that unforgiveness will eat you up inside and you need the freedom of saying, let go, let it go. Just let these things that just trouble you in your life, let them go. And let God help you through it. Well, that's going to be it for this round of inspiration. I promise I will try. Now, I say try because life gets in my way sometimes. I will try to be on here more often because I, I heard y'all. I'm, I'm so thankful that y'all were asking about me. Hey, where you been? We haven't seen you in a while. Um, you know, work got in the way. It's been busy between, you know, Guardian and Lightum. Um, Christmas, New Year's, all that stuff. It just, it, everything got in the way and I just got too busy to, to make a video. Um, but like I said, 
vacations coming up the end of April, beginning of May. We're going to be in Gatlinburg. I'll be doing some wonderful videos for y'all for that. Um, I'm fixing to do a, um, um, those of you who don't know, um, I don't know if I said it in this video or the last one. I just, I've, I've been doing videos the past little bit, um, the past hour or so. Um, I'm a guardian ad litem, so I visit children in foster care um, and advocate for children. I don't work for anybody but the children. And that's where guardian ad litem or CASA, as it's known in other states, comes in. I'm fixing to do a video on human trafficking because it's the end of human trafficking month. Um, uh, be sure to watch that video because let me tell you, um, we need to protect our children. So um, just be, be watching for more videos by Avon Everything. Um, these are just pure, simple amateur videos, but I love making them, especially the traveling ones. Um, and I love educating people and I love giving people inspiration. So thank you to all of you who asked, hey, Julie, where are you? We're worried about you. You haven't made a video in a while. Thank you for caring. That means the world to me. And if you like these videos, hit a like, and hit a share, um, especially the advocacy ones. I want to educate everybody. Um, it's just uh, people need to learn about child advocacy. You also need to watch The Chosen because it's awesome. If you have never seen it, it's there's a free app on your phone. Just download it and you can stream it online. Um, you know, on your phone, on your tablet, whatever you want to do. It will touch your life, I promise you. Well, that's it for now. I thank you folks so much and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.